Our story begins in Paris on a rainy day. I've been invited as a keynote speaker to a human resource convention on the Champs Elysees, a pretty famous place, uh, prestigious. And my mission is to motivate them. Actually, the company is a multi-billion dollar company, international, and is going to be listed on the stock market. So the stakes are high, people are nervous about the future, and the HR uh, people are key to this transformation. So my job is to motivate them, to inspire them, and to share with them how to prepare for the future. That's an exciting mission, it's a difficult one, Imagine what a hundred motivated HR professional can do. That can be really exciting. Imagine what a hundred motivated people in any company can do. That's very exciting. So I start with a very simple question. What color is the sky today? I ask the question. What color is the sky today? They least look at me and say, gray, it is gray. It's raining, it's, it's gray. So I look at them and say, hmm, that's very interesting. You are very educated, quite experienced. You are key to this company. You're here, you represent the human resource potential and you answer gray. Let me ask again, huh? <laughs> what color is a sky today and you can hear a couple of people laugh you can see them watch each other and they think what is this guy talking about what is he asking what's the point I mean, it's, it's raining it's gray <laughs> I was there just a few minutes ago it's gray what is he talking about so I ask how many people here believes the color of the sky is gray raise your hand and a majority of people raise their hand and some of them are still thinking about it. And, and I said, well, let me try one more time. What is the color of the sky today? They look at me and say, what is this guy trying to get to the point to? And you still hear, come on, it's gray. Right? And some people are becoming hesitant and say, there's another right answer. It's great, but I'm not going to try to answer because it's probably not. The point is there. And, and so how many people believe it's gray? Less people, but still a majority of people say, well, the sky is gray. And I says, OK, one last time. What is the color of the sky today? And they really start laughing. Uh, and says, well, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now, here's the answer. The sky is blue. The sky is blue every day. Gray is the color of the clouds. Gray may be the color of our reality, but the potential is blue. So the real question, and it's a beautiful meta metaphor, is what is the color of your future? And how do you engage to create your future. Do you focus on the obstacles, the difficulties, the environment? Do you base your decisions on your potential? Or do you base your decisions on, I don't know, it depends. It depends on this, it depends on that. It turns out that the people that behave with their potential in mind, that have the mindset of the blue sky, take more risk, ask better questions, look for things differently and are more engaged. And the people that focus on the clouds, the obstacles, the difficulty tends to be less risk uh, oriented, uh, try less and bottom line have less fun. So the real question is what color is your future? I could see the crowd lighting up and everybody understood the metaphor, which is, what is my mindset? Is my mindset positive and engaged? Or do I let the difficulty of every day take me down? Do I let people slow me down? What are my ambitions? What are my dreams? And then the real question is, how can I create my future? 
and how can I go after my dreams? Imagine what you can do for the company, imagine what you can do for yourself, and imagine what you can do for your community. What is a system that would help me not just get excited about the future, but sustain and produce results and really keep you engaged and proactive? That's what it is about, is being engaged, creating a future, creating real results. Very exciting.